Hello everyone, it's me, Miss Mademoiselle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a fun artsy project that I have never done before. And it is, drum roll please, <laughs> bottle painting! So I'm super excited to do this and I'm hoping that it'll be a really cool and fun process. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the video. <laughs> Now I'm mixing up the colors that I want to use for the background on the bottle art. So I wanted to use some of the old paint before dipping into the new stuff, but as you can see it's completely empty. So I just had to find another red and use it. But I'm trying to create a nice sort of violet color. And I added a lot of red and a little bit of blue and white. But it did not end up the color that I wanted it to be. So I just mixed up another color for the blue, and then I made the other purple off camera. So now my bottle is nice and clean, and I'm getting out my paint, and yeah, I did label them bottle paint. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and get started painting this thing. So I decided to do a blue and purple gradient on this thing, and as you can see, after one coat it's very streaky, but while I'm waiting for that first coat to dry, I'm going to go collect some items. Now we're ready to start the main design on this bottle, the dot art. So I'm squeezing out some dark blue paint and mixing up a few colors. So I have dark blue, light blue, purple, and white. So now the background paint on my bottle is nice and opaque. So I'm going to be taking a pencil eraser. You don't have to use this object. You can use anything that's a similar shape. But I'm going to be dipping it into the blue paint. And on most bottles, you'll see a seam or a line. And what you're going to do is just dab that paint on the middle of that line. Just eyeball it like I did. Now I'm going to be taking a Q-tip and I'm going to cut the cotton off of one end. And I'm going to dip this into the light blue paint. What I'm going to do is create eight little dots around this dark blue dot. So I'm starting at the top, then the bottom, and then the right and left. And then just fill those in. posing for the thumbnail. <laughs> So this is how the bottle is looking so far. Obviously I did a lot of it off camera because it's kind of boring to watch and also it's pretty hard to do it and record at the same time, especially when it got down to the bottom. Um, even when I wasn't recording, it was pretty difficult to do it.
the bottle is finally complete and this took me like three days of work so I definitely want to protect it using a top coat so I'm going to be taking some Mod Podge and applying a couple coats of that to the bottle And after the first coat, I went back and added a second coat just to make it extra durable. So this is the finished product. I think it turned out really pretty and I definitely enjoyed making it. I would recommend that you guys try this out as well because it's super fun and easy and it keeps you occupied for quite a while because like I said earlier, it took me a few days to complete it and it was definitely worth it at the end seeing what you can create. Okay, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!